Hey, hey, Sangria, it's your boy N O R E. What up, it's DJ E F N. And we know it's not military crazy war radio, but I still nah. like saying it. You know what I mean? And this is Drinks Champ Radio, where every day is New Year's Eve. Let's go! <laughs> Food leg ass shit. Happy Hood Year! Happy Hood Year. And I would like to announce for our very first guest. First ever. First ever. Drink Champs Radio. Drink Champs Radio. The legend. Not, a, not just a, a left rack city legend, not just a New York City legend, not just an NBA legend, but a worldwide legend. National a, treasure. National treasure. A man who, who, to me, in my opinion, was the first like hood point guard dishing the ball and just disrespecting you wouldn't have crossed over. Crazy. We got the legendary, I call him Chibba. Because yeah, they know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, what, what, they, 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 uh, we gotta get to why they say Mr. Chibs. I like to chip up better, but I'm, I'm with you every step of the way. And we got the legendary Kenny and the sitting in the motherfucking building. Make some noise! My shit sucks. You can tell I smoke too much. <laughs> At the hood party store. It's not really working out for me. <laughs> Yo, man. No, I'm honored, man. No, no, for real. For real. Yeah, thank I'm, I'm honored, you. Thank you I'm honored for being to be the first, first one, yes. the first guest. I'm honored yes. to Nori. I watched Nori grow up. He watched me yes. grow up. Yes. And, uh, you know, we came from, you know, nothing to something. You know, he in the Absolutely. rap game, me in basketball. You saw him and, in Panthers. Uh, you know, yeah, he, yeah he I saw him, did. you know, kicking cans. I was, but I was right on the side. I was on, I'm mm-hmm. only like six, seven years older than him. Mm-hmm. I, I was on the basketball court, and he was outside the court, Absolutely. running around kicking cans, Absolutely. playing tag, playing yep. with the monkey balls yep. and left rack. Yep. That's what we did. You I probably know had saying? wingworms and all that. It's yeah, true. Yeah. It's true. Come on, clap your hands for wingworms. Goddamn it. <laughs> wingworms? <laughs> wingworms? <laughs> wingworms is the best wingworms. <laughs> You're not supposed to, but who cares? Let's do it. So, um, this is real shit, man. Um. Yo, uh, I just, I just, I just, I'm, I'm so honored that you came, man. I'm so honored you stepped in the booth. I'm so honored that you came with the Drink Champs Radio because the whole thing is about drinking. We know you can handle, hold it down. Yeah. We know you can hold he it already, down. We can. We got busy right now. But we need some wine. Can you fill up my chalice? Come on, man. Can you wash it out though first? We just, we just bought that. Can you wash it out? Now, all on, your kids you out there, man. It, it, Don't this do is drink. drink. This is drink. Drink champ. champs. Radio. I know it's drink champ radio. Yeah. You got to drink responsible. Right, yes, right, right. Yes. This, this is for adults. Yes. This is yes. for drink adults. Responsible. Drink you know what responsible. Saying? That is a real fact. talk out there, yeah. man. Uh-huh. Yeah. That, yeah. Is that, that is a fact. And is use a Uber. Fact. Don't drink and drive. Goddamn it. Use Uber and um. Uber it's, responsible. It's, it's another right thing. Now. Um, uh, um, Lyft. Lyft. Lyft is the one with the mustache. Yeah, Lyft. We gonna come out with our own shit. I got Lyft. I got a free ride with Lyft. Free ride. I got a free ride. We giving the mad free advertising. We gonna come out with our own shit. It's called Uber. You know what I mean? Where you just hood, that you just hood, you, you hood. come in, the nigga already got a blunt lit. Hoodbutt, hoodbutt, hoodbutt. It's hood. like it's kind of gotta make it sound German, so it sounds like a little, a little like expensive. So hoodbutt, hoodbutt. Right? Where you come, the guy already got a blunt in your joint. He just hit, he hit you, and it's going down. But this is the legendary Kenny Anderson, man. We here. Thank you so Crazy. much once again Crazy for joining story. us. You know our first time, and. You, you know, one of my um, earliest memories that I've ever, 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 ever seen Jay-Z. You know why my first time ever seeing Jay-Z? When, man? And your party in the hood. Oh, yeah. I'm in left, right? Oh, you, you remember what I used to do out there for 10 tell years straight, Tell them what you do 10 years straight. Come on. Make some noise for this guy. Hit me in the head, need though, some I used to do it. Oh, you had the band? Yeah. No, no, not him. Oh, no, okay, not okay. him. You know, he came and represented, but, you know, okay. that some, I used to do a, a community barbecue for yes, my hood. Yes, he did. In left rack. In my hood, man. 30,000 every If y'all want to clap for that, it's okay. That's a, you know, back then, I was just a little bit. You know, a lot of money. 30,000. You know, straight up out my pocket, barbecue free pits. We had fifty free to the community. They, they was drinking. They, 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 they was drinking Cristal. Yes, they was. Yes, they was. <laughs> Everybody yes, they was. drinking Cristal. Cristal. We had pits, different about, about ten pits going what, what on. What year is this? Like, what, what time frame is this? Man, so 90, since I've been in, what, it was ten years straight. So mm. I had to say ninety one. So it's like the nineties right the now. 90s, the nineties, man. But this is Jay Z. Like, yeah. Like then I had, I, like, on the radio and you know pre, pre- yeah. Jigga or is he still with uh, Nah he was blowing up the he was blowing up Nah okay. he was blowing up that's you know what I'm saying like he had Chris Dow so you know yeah, right, right, right. that's when it was first you know blowing yeah. up but uh 
Jay Z came through, man, and blessed Touch, left rack. Yes, right. It was crazy, man. We just we we balled out. My man, Big Charles Oakley came through. I remember that. Big Andy I remember that. Mace. We, this had, is, we had, had the hood locked down, man. NBA fans just sitting here yeah. thinking about it. They was in my hood, man. Yeah, nah, it was in my hood because of this man. God nah, damn it! Know. I, I just I just think you need to clap again. God damn it! <laughs> But what was you doing? Like, where were you at? I was a child. Barbecue? I was a child, and I was rapping. You know what I'm saying? But I was. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't believe I expressed to anybody yet that, like, you know, I was serious about this or yeah. whatever. But um, Hove, seeing Hove, seeing you bring yeah. Hove to the. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna keep going. You have. You have so much influence on me yeah. that I'm Man, not sure that, that you know. No, that I you, don't I'm know. sure you know. I we keep been, going. We went, we went two serpent ways. Yes. Not bad. When well, you went the rat way, I right. went the athletic salud, way. Salud, salud. I gave you some peanut butter. Oh, yeah. No doubt. The, the purpose of this no game doubt. is to make sure you're drunk no and feeling great. Nah. But drink no. responsible. <laughs> yeah, drink responsible. All you kids out there. <laughs> adults. We adults but, right here. But we listen, the first time, so I'm walk outside because, you know, he like like he said, he did this like every year. So I walked outside and I seen just Cristal and I seen I'm a child, you know what I mean? You're talking about the ribeye steaks and all mm. that. Nobody see, eats see, steaks. See, I was too young to it know what a ribeye steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he just, just like just give me something. Like, like, give me a plate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Me up with a plate. I definitely ate for Yo, free. That's my, my mom was but, so hood though. Yes, Joan, Rest in peace. Joan. She we had like yes. a VIP section yes. and then like yes. an everybody section. So your mom was still living in Left Bank City at the time. Yeah, we had two places. She, we kept yeah. our crib on the on the on the weekend. She come and play the numbers. Yeah, she would kill him. And she would I'm beat not gonna him on lie. I'm not gonna lie. And then we go. She'll go back to the. Uh, this is this is why our stories is similar yeah. because we're both legends in our own right. Yeah. But our parents is yeah. both legends. <laughs> yeah. Like keep it real. Yeah, your pops. Like my pops, pops. That's my crazy. moms. Like pops I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like yeah, this is crazy. Like yeah. like, like like Kenny's moms like. She like when you look up left rack, you should see her. You yeah. should see my father, like because like this is who raised us. But they, yeah. but, but but they were legends before us. Yeah, no doubt. One hundred percent in left rack city, and left rack was a hood that was like we were we were right. If you really think about it, we're in the heart of Queens. If you do, if if you actually take from Fifty Ninth Street Bridge. The first thing you land, you'll see Queens Bridge. Enough respect to them. Then you keep going, you'll see Astoria. Excuse me, you see Ravenswood. You'll see Astoria. You'll see everything. But then, right before you go to South Jamaica, you can't. Yeah, you can't not, miss. You can't yeah. miss yeah. Left Rack motherfucking city. So, like, like for, for me, right? Um, Kenny Smith was the first person I yeah. seen actually go. But I didn't know Kenny Smith. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew of him. I look. You know, and, I love Vince, Kenny Smith. Vince was my coach. Go ahead. Vince was my, you know, mentor. And uh -huh. that's, that's Kenny Smith's brother. Exactly. Well, we've come from two sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he you know, Explain the Smith, that. Explain the Smith, that. you know, the, the, the Smiths grew up, you know, Kenny grew up with his father and mother. Right. Says, you know, they call, and no disrespect, they yeah. call him up, yo, 11 o'clock, come right. upstairs. Right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. My, my mother, right. you know, my mother, you know, hustling, doing what she got to do to pay right. the rent. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm out to 1, 2 in the morning. Mm -hmm. There was nobody mm -hmm. checking for me. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. You know what right, I mean? And right. I had to, I got more love, you know, from guys in the hood, like Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not, dis I'm, you know, it, 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 they was doing wrong, but right. doing good. Right, you know, right. for right. helping kids, they might have been selling drugs or doing right. whatever. I don't condone that. Right, exactly. But they would say, "Hey, K, you 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 ate yeah. tonight? Here, right. take this fifty dollars, this twenty dollars. Go get right. something to eat. Right. You need a new pair of sneakers? See, see, go ahead and go to. Because I didn't have my my parents there with me. See, so that's the biggest right, difference yeah. from our hood is that I remember my first time I went to Hot ninety seven, and after that. The drug dealers really, really wouldn't let me sell drugs no more. Yeah, they'd be like, "Yo, dude, you was on Hot 97. Yeah, like you got a chance to go somewhere and yeah. be somebody." So they used to, they used to like actually stop me from pursuing yeah. anything. That's the difference from our hood. Like a yeah. lot of other people, they they encourage you to do that, Yo, and then, and then and say I they know, want I know you got it. it too. Of course. After a while, man, you come to Left Rack. It's my yeah. hood. That's my hood. So right. they'd be like, "Yo, is Kenny Anderson? Where's Kenny Anderson at?" Mm -hmm. Cats be like, "What? What mm -hmm. you want him for?" Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can be like, what you, what you want him for? Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? They, they make a they, call. They people make a call. Yeah, they protect it. They people make a call. Y'all, the hood. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it was and, a family. And, and, and as opposed to when I traveled the world and I see, see other different. people, and I said, damn, you know what? As bad as I thought certain people was for doing certain things, they actually protected. Yeah. 
people in a certain way. And I didn't know you had that same same story until just now. Like I I I knew that I knew that like when you went to Georgia Tech. Yeah. We went crazy. Yeah, everybody, the whole hood. The whole hood. <laughs> went crazy. That's why, yo, it was one game. I ain't gonna. I, this right. is. I'm bring. I'm giving y'all something that people don't even know talk, about. Talk about. Let's please, do it. Let's please, do it. Goddamn it. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on. It's all my job. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna give y'all too much. No, no, give us a lot. Come on, Doctor Richie coming out. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. We gotta much. promote the Doctor Richie. What's the yeah, name no, of Doctor Richie? Mister Chibs, you know it. Mister Chibs, you know. that's for the listeners. You know what I'm saying? You know what, saying? Okay, you know so, what I mean? So, but okay. uh, uh-huh. the NCAA tournament March Madness mm-hmm. coming around. So we's playing. Are you talking about when you beat Shaq? Yeah. Oh, you already know. See me? You think I'm from? I don't know. I don't know. I got the call back. You know, I got the call. Yeah. 11 in the morning before right. breakfast. Right. You better do work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, everybody, shot, everybody you know that. I'm playing remember. against Chris Jackson. Mm. Uh, he changed his name to Abdul Mahmoud. He all right, Muslim. respect that. Respect Stanley that. Robbins, Chris mm. Jackson, mm. all them cats. It was a mm. big time game. And right. my people from back home, Left Rat, called me and was like, yo, you better do work. Right. So right. I was nervous. I had butterflies all day. I was right. like, oh man, my Shit. whole, right. my whole, Town is watching, right. but and, um, and I turned won. it out. I turned nah, it out. We remember that. We turned we, it out. We remember that, man. We um, you made us so proud, man. Yeah. Um, and then and then you went to Bishop Bishop Archbishop Malloy Archbishop Malloy, and that was high school. High right? school. Okay. Right there, you know, off of uh, in back of the courthouse, and you was like Hall of Fame. Yeah, my um, moment. my uh, that's another thing. But most people know. Some people around the world don't know. You know. You know my high school jersey mm-hmm. is in the Hall of Fame. That's a fact. Next to Kareem wow. Abdul Jabbar. That's a fact. It's me and my man joint, so, you know. That's a fact. That's crazy. God damn it, make some noise for that. God damn it. Where the fuck you be at? Real talk, man. Look, I ain't gonna front. I bought this hat because um, it's your birthday. Here, every day. <laughs> oh, is, listen, apparently. every day is New Year's at every our day show. Is New Year. But um, when I wore it, then I went I got a cut. The barber was like, I don't know if your girl's gonna believe this hat. Because like it does look like a strip club. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like it kinda looks flagrant, but when you put it on, it like But it doesn't look flagrant if you put it on. No, no, it still looks fragrant when you put it on. I'm not sure. What's I what's I styling when I had it on, Carlito? That's the one. A little bit? A little bit. But all right, let's get back. So um not only that, you was what you had your baby mother. Oh yeah, one of the most of, legendary. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Now, now, so and Pepper was legends. Yeah, that it's was a wild a, story. I got a wild story for you. To, uh, I'm, no, ready, I'm just gonna I'm bring it. It's a story. wild story. It's okay. a good story. Oh my goodness. But story. it was, uh, you know, when we met. Uh huh. And I met her. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Jodeci mm. release. Oh shit! Forever, my lady release party. Oh, for the uh, single. They, oh, they it, was, it was the album. Okay, the okay. album release party. Okay, okay. And my man Pat, who I run with, I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I'm doing my thing. Whatever, whatever. I'm talking mm-hmm. to her. We talking. Mm-hmm. I don't really know who she is. Time so out. she Time gives out. me the. Stop she stop. gives me the. You didn't know who spend the. Nah, I swear to God. I, I got. I got. I got I'm a little offended. Uh, nah, I, I didn't know. <laughs> you, you did. At that time, I'm. I'm playing ball. I don't really. I just. She I was, was with the Nets. To me, she was like. She was like Penny from Good Times. Yeah, I was holding out. I, I had just got drafted to the Nets, number uh-huh. two pick, and I was holding out. And we went to the uh, release party, and I ran into her, and then she gave me the wow, okey doke. Like, yo, uh-huh. uh, I work at the, uh, I'm a paralegalist. I work uh-huh. at the office, you know uh-huh. what I mean? Gave me the wow number and all that. Oh, so she blew you off. <laughs> nah, she tried to She tried to say Told she you. wasn't who she was. Oh, okay. And my man Pat was like, yo, no, that's yeah. Spinderella, I'm telling wow. you. And wow. I was going to say, nah, that ain't. The next day, I was like, nah, man, that ain't her. I don't care nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't care about that. She, whatever, whatever. And then I just took the call. I just right. I just made the call. Mm. And I started pressing her. Mm. And then she finally said, yo, yeah, you know what I mean? A group, this, that, and the other. And that's how, you know, we kicked it off. She was trying to lie to me that she wasn't down with the group. But my right. man, my man was on it, though. So yeah. he knew. Right. So wait. Which, which, if, so what yeah. year would it have been? That would have been Joe to see that. Ninety one. Ninety one. I was a rookie. No, ninety one. It had to be ninety one because I had just got drafted, the number two pick, and mm. that summer I was uh, that summer of ninety one. Uh-huh. I was holding out to get my contract, and I was hanging out in New York, and we met and we met and we went to a couple uh, party. Is that when they dropped the Joe? 
Uh, yeah, I was with her with that album. Let's talk okay. about wow. sex and all okay. that. Okay. Wow, you a hero, hip hop guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what He's I. He's a do. real that's hip hop my, guy. That's my role here. Right, right. But that's... you know what? You know, and me and her. You know, I have like four or five baby mamas, but that's that's like me that too. was like that was like my best baby mama. <laughs> Sorry, that if, there like, was, if there was if there was that's like my best system. that's like my best baby mama because oh, man. she's real. You sure you want to say this? Yeah, yeah, you sure? yeah, that's real. You sure? You, that's you sure real. you don't want us to add to that? Nah, nah, that. that's like my second baby <laughs> best. Mama. Oh, yeah. No, that's like my third. <laughs> no, but no, you, but no, you. but yeah. no. On the real though, you yeah. know, she did my wedding. Wow. You know, her, my wife Yo, is tight. Yo, how legendary is this? Hold on, let's talk about my wife. Let's focus in on this. Point. It's you crazy. got married and had your ex-wife DJ your wedding. Make yeah. some fucking noise for that, goddamn. Yeah. But, but not just any ex-wife. Not just any yeah. ex-wife. Legendary DJ. Yeah. The legendary yeah. DJ. Yeah. But you know what? That is awesome. I'm gonna give a love, you know, love to my mother. Rest in peace. You think your mom's made it happen? Yeah, because my mom's and yes. her was so tight. Right. My mom's telling her, listen, my right. son is crazy. He, right. You know, whatever. But you know, deal right. with him. Mm. He's gonna take care of his daughter. Mm. He's a good dude, and they was real tight. And I think, you know, what I'm saying she, you know, that's how our relationship came about. But some, some baby mamas or whatever don't want to deal with nobody yeah. in your family. Yeah, they get yeah. spiteful. Yeah, they get spiteful. She dealt yeah. with my mother. Her and my mother was great. Right. So that's how that worked out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we best friends to this day. She real tight with my wife. It's all good. That's hard. I got six kids and a pop possible. So, uh, yeah. And a I possible? Know, possible. I got a space hand over here, baby. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. She's ripped. Yeah, I got yeah. eight. So we good. <laughs> oh, I got you by two. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to catch up. Yeah. Nah, don't Eventually. do it no more, man. Eventually, I have yeah. another baby. I'm jumping off a bridge, baby. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I've been trying to get my tubes tied. I'm for jumping a little off while. a bridge. Somebody come while. up with a baby. You know what I mean? But definitely, man. This is. Again, it's, 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 it's so much an honor to have you here, so we, we were going to spin it, too. What do you think about what's going on with Peyton Manning right now? Do you think this is unfair? He's getting accused for mooning somebody. Yeah, I've, I've been when on he was it like 19. that. Now, yeah, wow. a little bit, but when you when you up so high right. and you, you have success, they try to go back into your past and bring up right. everything. Right. And it happens to the best of us. And um, I, I don't, you, you, it's her word against his word. That mm-hmm. stuff right there, you just don't know, it's man. Terrible. It's terrible. It's you terrible. You just don't know. But it, what, what bothers, you know, me, it, 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 it probably, it's going to hurt him no way. He's not going to do no time. He's not, it hurts your reputation. Right. Though. That's mm-hmm. what kills it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's it, the problem. The brand. Of the the brand, person. It hurts his that's brand. What, it, that's being it. in the industry that we're all in, that's it, it becomes a brand. You know, and, and it gets um, hurt. Maybe he did that. If he's mooning, you know. Uh, <laughs> if he's mooning, maybe he did that. But, but, mooning, but, his, mooning his team. It was, we played around in a locker room a bunch right. of time in college. Right. Even in high school, you joking around. Right. Mooning, having fun. I don't know how that came So what came is the about. exact accusation, though? The exact accusation is he was messing with some chick. Um, he mooned her. He harassed her. But he was 19. The thing about it is, you know how much bullshit yeah. you did when you was 19? That's irrelevant at this point. Now you're going to bring it up out there winning the Super Bowl. So That's it was it, it was kind of first off this is you Drink probably, Chaps first yeah. sports that this is radio goddamn make yeah. some noise for sports hey. yeah, it's real. It's real. I like you got your shit popping it always take a Dominican a Dominican will work it out always so um yeah that, that shit was um it was crazy for me uh, uh seeing that and not not only this here's 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 where I want to take it here we both went to IS sixty one. Oh man, that's what I had sixty one when I got into all the me the uh, the, the, the mommies, the the, the, the Dominicans look, look, look and the Puerto me. Ricans and the he's Latinos. A he's, he's a hot. Ah, <laughs> I used to get up in the morning like you going to school. That, I'm going that's to a, school. That's where I got it from. I'm this going is crazy. To I didn't know this. I didn't know I was hey, taking it there. But God ahead. is good. I'm, I'm gonna give because, you something else. Real. I'm gonna give okay. you something real. Okay, Not get, real. It ain't bad. Yeah. But then I, it was like two girls. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna tell you their name. I mm-hmm. went to school with. It's okay. I was crazy about. Uh-huh. They wouldn't give me the time of the day. Yeah, they probably need their name shouted out right now. If you nah, want, I ain't gonna do that. They, they probably need. Then I to. called them in New York on a club mm-hmm. night. They knew mm. Kenny Anderson yeah. made it. <laughs> I it's these stories official, too. yeah. <laughs> she was like, "We went to school and got right. right. I act like I was like, "Yeah." Right. All right. Well, I, I went. I went you. to IS sixty one, and my first Latino girl. <laughs> Latina girl, yeah, excuse yeah. me. Not a Latina. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> First Latina girl. Dinner. Her name was Kathleen. I remember. I don't remember if she was from Peru or Ecuador. That's why every time I, I talk to um, Boris, or oh, maybe she was wow. Peruvian Ecuadorian. Who, who knows? 
But um, yeah, she turned me out. Ever since then, I've never. Wow. Yeah, well, this is wild. This is a fact. This is wild because this is because this we got to break it down. The same roots, but here, like, here's how we got to break it down. All right, and now for the podcast listeners, you can't actually see what I'm doing, but here's left rack, right? And then here's Corona, and in the middle of left rack and Corona is a school called IS61, Bananas. right? Junior high school, <laughs> and that's it's smack dead in the middle. So it, it's a 100 percent culture clash. Yeah, what I mean by that is, in the beginning of 61, it's nothing but Spanish. Spanish. E everything. I'm, t I'm talking about every person off the boat, every person, you know, from Cuba to Nicaragua to it's whatever, like they, they move here. Griselda Blanco actually was, yeah. was there, right? And then yeah. after that comes Northern Boulevard, then it's black again. Yeah. So all these people had to actually... <laughs> that is. This is real shit. All these people had to actually mesh in one school. And if you was from Left Rack, you had to actually stay with Left Rack people. But yeah. then Corona people that were Spanish. So wait, is with Left Corona Rack people. predominantly black? Predominantly. Back then, yeah, back then, yeah. Because yeah, when I went then. that time, it, it no, seemed... No, 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 you went in a new age millennium. Oh, oh okay. But, okay. you know, like in the 90s, 90s. Oh. Yeah, it was all black. Yeah, it was all, all black. That's why my father... You know, was the only Puerto oh, Rican he, running yeah, around he was with, a the tail. Old, with a tail, with a tail, mad boxer. <laughs> Yo, he run, he run around. Left rack is a circle mm -hmm. square, mm -hmm. so you can run 57th Avenue Junction yep. Yep. all Nine the way Nine to Harris Harding, Harden, yep. Harden, so you can yep. get your run on. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? His father used mm -hmm. to be out there. Everybody you go, they go, Poppy. Right. I mean, you ain't want to mess with Poppy. Right. They be right. out there. <laughs> All right, Mambo, yo, Mambo Bob, out there. Yo, Mambo yo, out there. Yo, it was crazy, man. You can tell I smoke. You can tell I smoke. But. That's dope. So you went to 61. Yeah. So how did your basketball career start from 61? Yeah. On the real. This okay. is another, this is crazy. Right. I used to kill those guys in gym class. In gym class, okay. Yo, and then I just had to get out of there because of Vincent. That's when I met my mentor, Vincent Smith. Vincent he Smith. Said, Let's make some noise for Vincent Smith. He's up there. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Um, that's when I said, oh, I love I my be, life. I, I used to play ball with events. Yo, that's I handled what, the pill. That's what, uh, he, yo, he got me straight mentally. Wow. You know, um, so, so he, stopped, so he met you. BS. You say, you, you say, he, he met, met you when you was in school? No, he met me before that. Okay. But I went to junior. He said, I, I had to go to that school, junior right. high school. And I was messing around in school, man. I was, I, the effort wasn't there. I was BSing. Right. And I was a um, problem child in school, right. you know, um, um, I was I was just tripping out. So he said, "Yo, you got to do well this year, and um, so we could get you into high school." He and said, did I you want graduate you from sixty one, or you? Um, I graduated from sixty one. Okay, cool. And um, I went to Archbishop Malloy, but I had to take all these tests. Cause how about the action? Isn't that like tests. a scholarship school or or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was. Um, you had to pay tuition. Probably okay. about 20-something, 30,000 for the whole Ooh. four years. And Ooh. my man, my angel, you know, Howie Lawrence, God, mm. you know, rest oh. in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. He, he coached uh, girls at Lost Battalion Hall. Lost Battalion, baby. He had like three jobs, and he was like, yo, no strings attached. Him and my mom wasn't like that or nothing. He knew mm. I was wanted to go to Malloy. He was like, right. yo, if you keep a B average mm. in Malloy, I'll pay your tuition. What? Mm. So he paid my tuition, wow. and um, he, he died. Uh, when I before I finished, man, and that hurt me. But uh, Howie Lawrence, man, That's paid my crazy. tuition. But he said I had to do. He looked at my transcript every 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 month to know if I was keeping up with my grades, and um, nobody knew mm. who was paying my tuition. But he was wow. paying my tuition, so I own, I, you know, all the AU teams or all that. I I I, I could do what I want to do because right. somebody was paying my. I, I didn't owe nobody nothing. Wow. So he wow. paid my tuition and all That's that. But lesson, but but man. I is sixty one. Um, I had a great English teacher, Mr. Joseph. Was he there when you were there? Because nah. Mr. Joseph was ill. I was pretty good in English. I didn't go because that much. No, nah, I was pretty right. good in English because I expressed myself good on paper. I right. not do essays and all that. But right. he was real hard on me and all that to get myself together because he knew I can play ball. But right. um, that's what happened, man. I went there and then I was, when I was going to IS61, I was so big in the playgrounds. Right. I was playing nah. all these summer leagues and all that in Harlem and everywhere. Now I remember the hood used to come out for you so crazy. Oh, the hood, wow. the hood used to like I, 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 I like I, like I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Like where they seen a, a brother have a positive chance, yeah. 
And all the negative brothers in the hood said, you know what? Yeah. You making sure he stayed positive. Oh, that's, that's what pushed me. It was like, that's so what pushed city, me man. seeing you because you know why? Like, I knew your moms, you know, she, 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 I ain't going to front. There's no other woman in the hood who send me upstairs more than your mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, she, she would see out. me, like, throwing dirt bombs or something and be like... I'm telling your father. I, I was so scared of my yeah. father that yeah. I couldn't beat my father for nothing. Nah, you wasn't going to beat them, beat them <laughs> hands. Nah, you got to chill out. My hands was nice. And she used to always be like, I'm telling your father. So so how did the transition happen from um, Bishop Malloy to um, Georgia Tech? Oh, yeah. I By then, and this is crazy. This is real talk. You know what I mean? Um, my, my, my neighborhood... And like you said, people that mm -hmm. raised me, my man JB is here with me now in studio. Right. You know, he right there, you know, after mm -hmm. 30 years, he's still with me. You know, uh, my God business bless. partner. God bless JB. Let's make some noise for JB. Yeah. Like that, you know what I mean? He watch over me, he watch over me, make make sure I'm doing the right things. Right. Um, when I got to high school, I went to a Catholic school, man. I'm going to be right. real with I you. I went to a Catholic school when I was you know what I'm saying? Saying? Right. So I my right. whole, from IS61, it's real talk, right. to Malloy, I became a nerd. Ah. I became a nerd. And if you if you know me, um, I had one girlfriend. I met my girlfriend in 10th grade, my, my high school sweetheart. She was a middle, you know, she middle class, uh, middle in Rosedale. She lived okay. in Rosedale. She had a whip. Now, that's not Tammy. Nah, nah, okay. wait, that's right. that's older. All right, my bad. You know what I mean? Renee was right, we'll my, get my, middle, my, middle, right. my, my middle school. <laughs> I, was, I, I had one girl for my whole high school career. She's right. a middle class girl in Rosedale. Right. Rosedale, they had that. She I had a Rosedale. house. She I'm, had a house. You know what I mean? That was like I'm, the only I'm, other place in Queens who had terraces like us. Have, nah, she no, didn't. She didn't no, live I'm in the park. No, I'm talking about Roxdale. I'm Roxdale, bugging. I'm bugging. bugging. I'm bugging. But yeah. um, Renee uh, has to get some credit. I give her some love. Mm. Her family took me in. You know, um, she drove me around to all the games. She helped me with my schoolwork. Mm. Her mother, after a while, you know, they used to send me home late. After a while, mom was like, "Yo, just stay downstairs." You know what I mean? Just stay right. downstairs in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the living room downstairs, and you know, they really helped me, man. So. My whole life, my whole m mentality changed when I went to Archbishop Malloy High School. Then I met with Coach Curran, my um, my mentor, when uh, Vincent Smith was the assistant coach. Right. And uh, He was assistant I, coach where? I, uh, at Malloy. Oh, Vince what? was with me. Vince oh. came with me. Oh, I The thing about that. it is, when I when I played at Malloy and I met Renee, I, I didn't come, if you notice, I wasn't in left rack a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I used to go yeah. in late night. I used right. to come down there on the weekends and go back and forth. Right. But um, that's the that's the real thing, man. It just changed my whole demeanor when I went to Malloy, and that's where you know back then all the uh, recruiters. You, if you went to a very good academic school, and if you went to if you could ball, they came and they came and recruited you. If you was with another, if you was with a bugged out school, and you ain't do your schoolwork, they wouldn't recruit you. So I I was just. I just lucked up, man. I was blessed. You know, Shorty, Wild, of course. LA, of course. Black. Yeah. They was trying to pull me down. They was trying to pull me down. That's my people. I love them. Right. But I stuck, I got with Vince, and that right. was my mentor. That's who I stayed with, trying to get better with basketball right. and trying to come up. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's an amazing story. I know everybody else here don't you know, know his name. You know it. That he's talking about. But it's such an amazing story because I, I remember when Vince um, messed with me. It was like I was. I, he messed with me, and then he caught me, you know, pumping, selling crack. Right? Yeah. So he was like, "Yo, man, I'm not messing with you no more." Yeah. Then he went and had a, um, he had a, a actual uh, tournament in Coney Island. Yeah. And the boys that he had hired, on, oh, not hired, we ain't getting paid for shit. But you know, the people that he actually, you know, um, had on the team at the time. They were scared of these Coney Island boys. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They yeah. was like, yeah, I know going out like, that Yo. way. And then Vince came back and said, "Yo, I'm gonna put you back on the team." But if you, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, and that's how I learned how to play ball. That's why, again, I said, and you know, I love my life. I used to play ball with Vince. Yo, I handled the pill, trying to be like you, though. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is real shit. Like, this is real shit. One of the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on before, cause I gotta get to the Bobby Hurley. 
Yeah, when I'm mad. That's my man. Yeah, but you killed him. Yeah, I had to, man. That's you, my you man. Wanna, you want to take it there right now? You want to yeah, explain? Because we're doing there, right? my documentary. Bob doing some stuff. I talked about he's right. coaching at Arizona State University. Okay. That's my man, but, you know, <laughs> right. when we was in Let's... college, you know, we was, mm. um, um, mm. you know, in New York, I was the number one point guard. Yes, you were. And then in New Jersey, he and was And he was also one. all city for like four years, Yeah, straight, correct? yeah. And of then course. he was... People don't know Bob Hurley was nice. You know, Bob Hurley right. was the number one guard in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So we in the metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. So every time I had the, you know, me and him was always talked about. Mm -hmm. But then when we got to college, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I don't know the word jealous. I was envy because he was with the Duke and they won a lot. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so much about talent. You right. know, I was going to get them on the you individual. You had Georgia Tech, I which is I predominantly one. black. Everybody in not in, Georgia, not in Georgia Tech. No? Not, okay, no, no, okay. No, Georgia Tech is like Filipino, um, Asian, Filipino. We just down the block from Sport, um, Spelman, Morehouse, oh, yeah. all that. Yeah, I, nah. I, I thought at that time Atlanta was all black. Atlanta was mostly black, but not Georgia Tech. Mm. That's a that's an engineer school. That shit oh. is hard to... Shit. That's weird. That, they put shit on the board. You think you're looking at Chinese arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit hard as above. You no. know, it, that, that's a very educated school. But mm. nah, but me and Bobby went at it. I just always wanted to destroy him and do good against him <laughs> because. Make some noise for wanting to destroy Bobby. Because, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> because he knows that because. I wasn't, like I said, it wasn't jealous, it was envy because they won so much at Duke. They just right. won. I didn't have that much talent year in and year out to compete with his teams. So I wanted to do better than him individually. But right. um, that's my man. He's a fierce competitor. He right. one of the best point guards ever to play college ball. And right. um, that night, I was just on one. You know, when we right. played that move, um, you know, I just, you know, I just, off instinct. I played off right. instinct, man. I right. couldn't I couldn't do that move if you told me to do it just normally. Right. It's gotta right. I play off instinct. That's what that's just what I'm about. Now what's your tape favorite team you ever played on? Well, well my only you know, NBA was great. You know, right. I played in the NBA. I say NBA was awesome for me because it had the infrastructure to take care of my mother, take care of me and my mother out to struggle. Right. But my first six years playing basketball at Malloy. Mm. And Georgia Tech is the best years of my life. Mm. You know, I'm not taking nothing That's away crazy. from the NBA, it, it, but the it, NBA. You make noise for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, That's true story. You know, the NBA. Don't get me wrong. Everybody, right. you know, see, and this is what I talk about in my doc. Everybody couldn't celebrate the way I celebrated at 10 years old. Right. I was a child prodigy. Right. So exactly. some people get it late. I got right. it early. You know what right. I mean? So my NBA career was solid, but it's not when money comes involved, it's a lot of politics involved that right. I have no control over. Right. But I, I love my team, New Jersey Nets, Boston Celtics, and the Portland Trailblazers. Those three teams I put my handprints on. You but can if go you had to pick argue. one. Ah, I can't. <laughs> just, 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 just for ah, argument's sake. If you had to pick one. Ah, I can't. Metropolitan I, area, man. I gotta give it to my Nets. Because there's yeah, metropolitan right. area and well, I started my career with the Nets. Willis right. Reed was the GM, the great right. New York Knicks. Right, uh, right. He was the GM at the time. He drafted me number two, man. Right, so number I, two, overall over draft. Over 1991. Right. I got to give him love. My man, Derek Coleman. Right, I still Derek Coleman. I still with him. He's probably the, he's the best. The ball head. The ball head. You look like Derek Coleman right now, Drain. I'm just sorry. <laughs> yo, <laughs> so out yo this, is true, <laughs> this is a true statement for me, and I played with some great players. Right. Derek Coleman's the best player I ever played with. Mm. Ever. How now, much, now how much he, talent? 6'11", do everything. He's off the chain. This is a fact. Now, who's the best player you ever played against? Oh, Allen Iverson, man. I got to oh, give him a Yeah, little Get dude. Out of here. Little dude was a beast, man. I felt like Allen kind of like took after you. Yeah, he, he, I don't know if he, he uh, maybe, but no, he was more of a, 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 how can I say it? More of a scorer. More right. of a, uh, I'm more of a point guard, pure yeah. point guard pure guy. Pure point guard. You know, that's what I came into. But, right. uh, you know, he was a beast, man. And I think everything everything lined up right for him. That's, mm -hmm. another, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he got the right team around him. Right. You see it late in his career. Right. He couldn't do the things he could do. Right. Because he wasn't getting the ball. He wasn't getting the minutes. Because he was doing a lot. Was he was doing a lot. Uh, like, it was that like. That Philadelphia, Philadelphia right. team for 10 years or so how long it was. Right. 
it build around him. So yeah. he's able to do all of that. And the ND and the ND, NBA, that's what has to happen for you. Because a lot mm. of guys got talent. Right. But if the team is not sitting around you and you're not in a right. good, you know, with a good coach, and you see when when he started, he couldn't play the same way, right. numbers start dropping, everything right. started coming out. Right. He don't like to practice now. <laughs> he hangs out too much. <laughs> right, right, he drinks right. a lot. Are we talking about practice? Yeah, but <laughs> what about when he was, you know, when he was balling? Right. He was right. the same person. Right. But, you know, that's just how the lead is because a lot of politics and everything involved in it. So they right. keep everything on the rap. But, you know what I mean? Me, I, I, don't, I don't look at it that way. I, you know, I had a great year. I got 14 years in, man. Right. And I always tell my son... And I always walk away with an enemy. I told JB, I be joking. I laid everybody with the left. Oh, man. My Let left laid everybody. I laid Jordan, something. laid Patrick Ewing. I laid everybody Let with the left. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You, <laughs> you, know, you, you know used to have saying? the hood lit. Let me just tell you something. You used to have the, yo, everybody in the hood, fat wives, used to come out. This yo. is back in the days with the little fucking TVs. He's, yo, he, it was a ritual. You had to watch his yo. game. Even if you ain't like basketball. Yo, real talk. You had what, to sit yo, out. real yeah. talk on the alco alcoholic mm -hmm. block. You right. know, the alcoholic. My uh -huh. mother used to be like, yeah. yo, go take care of the people over there when you come through the block. Yo, because you know why? Yo, they, wild they, on the court. You don't know the uh, alcoholic yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, my father, my father has a mirror on the alcohol. What is the alcohol? He has a mirror on the alcohol. What is that? What is that? You've been there. I brought you yeah. there. Um, it's, it's like nobody likes to say what it, what the corner was. It's the yeah. alcoholic block, man. That's a fact. Well, it's the drinkers, is that? It's yeah. the drink champs. Super, super, drink champs? super, super, super drink. drink. This is why me and you are drink champs. <laughs> this is why we can share this moment. I just hit you with that. Yeah. Cause my mom's like, yo, go in the liquor store. No, his mom's a legend in left frat. Hit everybody up when you come through there. That's why I said, I said, I ain't coming through there, you do that. Mm -hmm. I, but I used to take care of him when I come back home, go in there, buy nah. champagne, buy the yes. Henny, buy yeah. beer, and I just leave it there. And I'm out. Nah. I'll see y'all later, man. <laughs> Nah, that it, wild. It was, alcoholic block was wild. It was such that, a legendary that moment. Like a fun block. Yeah, now, it was now, a fun, me, in the summertime, right? Yo, that's when everybody. Now, now it listen, was clowning. It, it was fun though to talk to them. Now I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you one of the best moments of my life, right? Yeah, you. I know you told don't me know this, this early, man. I know I, you don't know this. I know you know it. You know because uh, you was there. Yeah, I got it. But this is here's what's going on, right? Big had died in 1996, correct? Yeah. 1996, I recorded the War Report album. 1997, the War Report album actually dropped. I had nothing to do, right? Meaning, I just dropped the album. Capone had got locked up. Traj really wasn't, me and him wasn't really talking. I was still selling crack. Damn, this is 100% foul shit, but it's real shit. <laughs> Akinelli had seen me. Akinelli said to me, how much, how much you got on you? I said, I got like 500 work from you. I can only give me $500, right? He said, give me, give me your work. I gave him the work. I can only say, walk with me. He threw it in the sewer. Bum. Threw it in the sewer. I almost wanted to snuff him. Like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing, nigga? <laughs> but he said, I just paid for it. What do you care what I do yeah. with it, right? All right, cool. Ox said, sat me down and said, yo, watch this. Every car that drove by left, right, this is the Capone Noriega album was playing the, the, the war report, right? Boom. So he's like, I'm bringing you on tour tomorrow. He brought me on tour, he showed me the world. Like, you know, the world that he was living at the time, at least, you know, the Virginias, the North yeah. Carolinas, South Carolinas. I went back in the studio. I did a record called I'm Leaving on the Firm album. Blows up, I get a chance to actually do the NORE album, right? And our E album drops. Yeah, We're in the Sauce Awards in LA. Right? And we're shook, because, you know, Big, they kill Big. Yeah. Let's just be 100%. They kill Big. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Hold on. I know you didn't know what you laugh at, that, but they kill B.I.G., right? So what happens is my album drops. When my album drops, my label rented out the Lamontrose Hotel top of the Montrose Hotel. They got waiters, they got, we didn't trust bitches in LA. I know this story's gonna sound a little crazy, but we didn't tr trust girls because the, the, the story we got was big, was set up through girls, so we just was out there, but just us. Left rack niggas, bunch of, bronc whoever was with me at the time, right? The label calls me and said, you got the number one album in the country. 
at the time. I'm yeah, 19, I 20. I don't know what that means. I'm like the number one album in the country. Great. But we didn't want to go out. So they sent us so much champagne, whatever, 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 right? We come, we in the jacuzzi. Yeah, so all men, sounds crazy. <laughs> but we didn't trust women out there at the time, so we was like, fuck it. We all sat in the jacuzzi, but then I got out, and I was like, fuck it. Let's go out tonight. We went out tonight. You pulled up in the... I don't, I don't remember what Benz. <laughs> it was the Benz, yeah, cherry red, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. drop top, <laughs> yeah. and you playing my album. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember this? What? You playing? I, what? You playing Bear from TV? You pulling yeah, that up? Was like, that and was you my yelling shit. at people like, "What? Y'all don't know what the fuck this shit is?" <laughs> you like, and you, and I was like, I was like, "Yo, kid, hey." Kidding. Like that, and, like that, kidding. Like, I ain't gonna lie, cause he, he's, he's the legend to me. Yeah. So I don't want to disturb him. I'm seeing he's talking actually about me. I don't want to yeah. disturb him because this is the homie. And then he sees me. He's like, yo, yo, you parked your car in the middle of the street. Yeah, I, I was on one. <laughs> JB, no. I thought he was, like, was on one. Yo, he had I probably was this, on this one by the then. Best, this one, this is one. one of the best nights of my life. I used to be on life. one. You parked it, boom, you see me, you was like, you don't see everybody. It's an R.E. album. <laughs> I'm not talking about the War Report no more, because I know yeah, I started yeah, with the yeah. War Report. An R.E. album, and you jumped out, and you was like, yo, you know what the fuck you got right now? And yeah, I was I like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I, was the, yeah, I, was, I know I didn't say yeah. that like that, yeah. but in my mind, I was like, no, nah. you was like, yo, you grabbed me. You was like, yo, Pop, Poppy, you good, nigga. You yeah. got it for the room. And... And then that's, that's when I realized. And the police had came. This is the crazy shit. The police came and said, oh, shit, Kenny, you go. <laughs> like, like, I lived, yo, he was I lived in like, I lived in L.A. like three years. Right. I was on Sunset somewhere. Right. Like, yo, so I'm I knew all the police. Sunset. I used to be like, I used to be like at certain this places all the time. So Ooh. they used to just leave me alone, but I probably was on one. But nah, I was yeah. so proud of her, man, because right. nah, coming you. from nah, man, it's like full nah. circle for nah, you guys listen, at that moment. I don't this even was... remember. I know I was on one, but yeah, I was this... so excited to see him, and I had his CD. I might, I bought. Right. I, I know I, was, I, I had like at one time I had like ten cars, right. so I had like ten of CDs because I wouldn't want to keep uh -huh. switching the CDs. But, but so I bought like ten. So I had it. I had it on repeat, man. I think Nori, he had this, from the hood, man. I That's think my he man. had the six hundred bins. Yeah, cherry red. I'm, I'm telling you, I remember it because this was a moment for me. Yeah, you pulled up and then you, it was dropped. And when you, because we was like, yo, can I? And you was talking. You should have said Chib, yo. No, this is what happened. I'm going there. Yeah. I'm going oh, there. Oh, I see. Nigga no, said Chib, but he said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's niggas who know me. He said, yo, what? I had a bunch yeah. of left rack niggas. You yeah, jumped out. Yeah. But I had never seen a person leave a $100,000 yeah, car real. in the middle of a stop traffic in yeah. the middle of LA. Yeah, I was on and one. And I stood there and I was like, and you was like, you made it. Yeah. Keep I going. Yeah. I forget what else you said, but I was just like, I'm staying in LA. Yeah. <laughs> Cause nah, the label. Like, nah, to see him do that Whoa. and to understand, you know, where we come from. Right. And, and he, Salud. He, I need to get you. He like, get, he, you, he you caught up in the music world at that point. I was Whoa. like, yo. And when I told my family and all that, I was like, that's Nori, yo. He's from Left Rack. Mm -hmm. I was hyped. I was hyped for you, man. Nah, but I had like, yo, you don't understand that moment in my life was like, it was one of the best moments of my life. This is real shit. It should be. I'm not saying this. You had the number one, that's. I'm not saying, no, no, but what it was, it, it you know what it was, I'm, and I'm sorry for any, because you know I love white people, but for any of my white listeners, when the label called me and said, you got the number one album, it didn't mean shit to me, yeah, because right. I didn't know yeah. what number one album me yeah. meant, you right. know what I'm saying? But when I see you playing it, and now when I seen you oh, it goes, drop, and you had the streets of LA on smash. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Yeah, I know you're being down. humble. Yeah, but. <laughs> but I'm not being humble right now. Yeah. When the police came, I, I'm thinking it's straight out of Compton. I'm thinking we going to go down right now. They seen him. It was like, they knew you. They was yeah. like, and I ain't gonna front, they even let you chill like another yeah. five more minutes. They was like, hey, you guys are the five. And you stood over there, you kicked it to us. And like I, I was just stood there and I looked at you and I was like, 
Yeah, it I, was. You you made me unafraid of L. A. Like single handedly. Yeah. You oh yeah, because you're in L. A. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you because I was so scared when Big died. Yeah. No, I understand. You listen, one hundred percent, eye to eye, like a man. Yeah. You the person that wow. single handedly made me like, yo, you know what? L. A. L. A. Can be done. Yeah. Because right. although he, because you know, I had a record this in LA so yeah. it's a little different oh, from me. Oh, I, didn't know I was that. scared I had LA yeah, LA, you LA. Be. Yeah, you be. so and but. you was the one who single handed when you did that you uh, was like this can be that's done like, yeah that's you know like just full circle real quick right. when I, when I, you mm -hmm. know I got one all star you know I'm mm -hmm. an all star mm -hmm. 94 all star yes you are mother it wasn't it wasn't picked by the coaches yeah. I didn't care about the coaches I didn't care nothing I got like that was the year Jordan retired Mm. I think I was the highest guard getter in the East by fans. Wow. I think mm -hmm. a million and two. That meant the world of me. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't coaches, wasn't right. nothing. Cause that's right. that's what I, you know what I mean? Right. I felt loved, I felt appreciative. Like this Kenny Anderson, he finally arrived. So right. it's the same as you. I didn't right. care about the lead. I didn't care about like, the because if you don't make starters, you get the coaches. I was going to get probably picked anyway by the coach, but the the the, the fans, Voted me right. on as a starter, right? So that shit, it was huge for me. You know what I mean? I got snubbed a few times that I should have made it, but whatever. You know what I mean? That's life. You but, was the you most know dominant guard yeah. in the NBA. Yeah, man. And I'm talking about it. It just like as an NBA fan, I yeah. used to sit back and watch, and I used to be like, damn, like he, like I wanted to be, a, I wanted to be a ball player. I just yeah. smoked too much. It's yeah. fucked up for me. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I really wanted to be you, like. I'm just nah, telling you, you want... nah, I really wanted to be you, like, I'm gonna be, be honest, yeah. this is 100%, because you was the first person that I knew who made it. Yeah. Like, yeah, your man. moms and my, my father yeah, they knew was, each they other, yeah, yeah. they the drank at the bars, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My, yeah. So my first person I looked up to was you, and then the second one was Akinelli. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Was Akinelli. Like, That's real. And Ak actually was like, yo. He, he knew I was a dickhead. He was like, what yeah, the fuck yeah. are you selling drugs for? But I yeah. didn't know what to do. Yeah. And, but you were, you, you, you definitely, if it wasn't for you in a lot of ways, I wouldn't be here. I, I know you man, don't come really on, know man. that. Give me nah, I'm style. just gonna, I'm gonna yeah. be honest because you gave me hope. Yeah. And hope See, yeah. is better than Literally, anything in the world. That's real. That's hope real. That's what like, I go around now. Hope. The different hoods and all that. Hope yeah. is like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's, it's probably emotional for you motherfuckers, but let's get tough. All right, so hope. <laughs> Like, hope is like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope I can do something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It changes your possibilities. It changes your yeah. possibilities. Yeah. And that's what we need. Yeah. That's what these inner city needs. Right. That's why I always go back to left frack, right. the hood, and all like these And like you said, you did, the, you you did these barbecues hope. for 10 years. Like, at I the end it. of the day, when I first, because I went to jail, I didn't want, I didn't want to bring it up, but it's okay, right? I went to jail. When I came home from jail, that was the first thing I seen was when you had the barbecues yeah. and you brung Jay-Z out there. Yeah. And when you brung Jay Z out there, it was like, what the fuck? Like this yeah. is not because I didn't. I never want to be like, oh, I'm not gonna. I can't lie to the fans. But what I'm saying is, this is something I want to be like. And uh. you had them out there. You had them chilling. Then everybody, nobody could touch uh, Spinderella. She was like untouchable. Yeah. I mean, that was your girl. It was just like, it, this is facts. Crazy. This is like, and then are you, you and Tammy still cool? Tammy good, man. I would okay. never disrespect Tammy in my, my, nah, my first Nah, you very classy. First, I never seen you disrespect wife, nobody. Got my, you like, know, no, got, no, got none, none of your, none of your girls. My God mom, damn it. My mom, this, this is probably the most unclassy thing he's nah, done. My, yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> got me in a blue cup. Yeah. Wine. Oh, my I'm bad. Everybody's wild. <laughs> my the wine <laughs> cup. Drink chip radio. My bad. The most unclassy thing I've done. I felt pimpish today. Cup. I felt pimpish today. Nah, but nah, man. Um, My mother taught me, you know, better than that. She got my two daughters. Mm -hmm. My 19-year-old, my 21-year-old. And, right. and regardless of what me and her did, right. you know, she's a scarred woman. And I always say, right. and I made it that way. I right. wasn't, I, shit, I was, you know, be real. You know, I wasn't right. faithful. I was too young to get married. I right. didn't know what marriage was all about. I was right. 24. I should have listened to my mother. Right. You know, I, that wasn't the time for me to get married. But right. I would never disrespect that woman. And to this day, 
she raised two beautiful daughters, man. I'm right. like, you know, regardless, I don't talk about her. Whatever right. she do, God bless her. Right. But God that ain't her. nothing. I, that ain't nothing to me. Yeah. My daughters is 19 and 21. They call me. And, and they come that, and visit. Is that the group? Is that the group? And they they sing. Yeah, my um, my daughter Jazz is in the rap game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then my daughter Lyric goes to University of Texas. Oh, you know, God we bless. good. You know what I'm saying? I got five girls and three boys. Okay. So I don't. You know what I mean? Me. All right. that, I'm 45 years old, right. too old to be talking about that right. past shit about a girlfriend and yeah, nah, nah. We, and all we, that. We, 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 so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't, you know, nah, whatever. Nah. Yeah. We had our differences. Right. And oh, I'll I tell you I one thing, that. I was a man, Cause when, you know, I probably You, you know, the only reason why I asked you the question is, yeah. when I first seen Basketball Wild, yeah. I, seen, I seen it say yeah. your name. Yeah. Because I, I actually did, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, that's my first wife. So when wife. I first seen it, yeah. That's my first wife, and she came on in and said some things that, you know, it's all a script, man. It's oh, yeah. It's a script, I, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. knocking that. I didn't, I didn't know I nothing about that. Reality, reality. I, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> knock nobody hustle, make right. their money. Right. I just kept, kept my mouth co closed. You know right. Nah, you're everybody. a gentleman, man. You you're right. a gentleman. My mother, my mother yeah, told me, don't ever do that to your you're kids. Mother. Now yeah. my kids, my, my, my daughters is older. They know right. that. I would never say nothing down. Nah, you're a gentleman, goddammit. Make some noise for fucking people. You're a gentleman, goddammit. You need more wine? Nah, I'm good. We, we, we need to give him some more. You, nah, we good. Homegirl. No, <laughs> homegirl, you need to come in and drink. That's a goddamn. You look like a Jessica. What's your name again? You look like a Jessica? <laughs> What's your name again? Huh? Oh, that's Anna. Anna. Oh, Anna, I'm sorry. girl. Oh, Anna, Anna, Anna from, Homestead. from Homestead. From Homestead. I know, you know Sonny DBT? <laughs> he's a crazy guy. Uh, yeah, he's from Homestead. You probably know, but, but it never, he never gives his real name. Oh, no. He uh, never oh, gives magic, his magic, name. magic, magic. Oh, shit. Am I blowing him up right nah, now? Nah, man. He's so puff he's sometimes. Sucks. Hey, yo, for real, I'm, yeah. I'm going to tell you something on this real. Uh -huh. And this is no joke. I'm, yeah. I, 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 I had a great night, man. Nah, man. Nah, we in here with you, this man. dude. I right. ain't seen this dude in ages. Yes. I always, you know, my son. You know, I got right. teenagers. They hit, right. they with the hip hop. Right. I'm with the hip hop. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, you know, when mm -hmm. he said, "Yo, come on," and he, we, we start staying in touch with each other. Yes. This is a great night for me, man. Yeah, I had fun nah, being on here a, talking about, you know, because we come from the same roots. Same I just roots. played ball. He right. just rapped. That's what's amazing right. about now, this, man. The generation. Right. Hip hop is basketball, right. Yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? This is what it, yeah. it's all. It's the culture. Hip hop and basketball is yeah. it works yeah. together. Yeah. I'm, I mean, um, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like everything about your game, yeah. back then was like I said hood earlier. I said yeah. everything about your game was hood, but it, but in, in retrospect, it's hip hop. Yeah, I'm you know a, what I'm uh, saying? You can tell that you was listening to Run DMC, LL. Oh, yeah. That's who I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? Front. Of course. You can front. tell you, that. I'm Queens, baby. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You, you know what I'm tell, saying? Like, we can tell that. And, and, and it's so special that, because to me, you were like, you were like, AI based this game more for you. Now, you you might not want to claim that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you came like a little before him, like like maybe what? A little before him. I'm a little, a little older. I'm, I don't know. I mean, you got to check that out. But you facts. was the first. We don't was, check facts. Y'all yeah. don't check facts. This is hip hop. Y'all yeah, don't yeah, check yeah. facts. Yeah, no, it's no, a wild no. station. This is a wild yeah, radio. Yeah, no, it's okay. Check. It's okay. We it's don't okay. need facts. <laughs> no, we don't, don't need facts. facts. <laughs> we just going to say it, man. You know, it was all yeah, good. Yeah, man. It, it was no, funny. No. It was funny because this past weekend, uh, All Star Weekend, yeah. me, Alan Iverson, Kenny Smith, uh, Tiana Teller, and Iman Shepard had a Iman Shepard had a whole fucking a party together. That was you know nice, what I'm saying? Man. And when I was speaking to AI, like, you know, he, yeah. he, I knew him. I met him a couple of yeah. times. Real but dude. But in my mind, it was like, I felt like, you know what I'm saying? Not, yeah. not like he took your style or nothing. Nah, like, nah, you know I'm saying? Don't, I don't care nothing but, about that. But your attitude, your aura, when yeah. you was on that court, Only you, you know was that. cutting niggas. Yo, yeah. Your crossover, I, I ain't gonna front. The first killer crossover I ever seen was from you. Yeah. I'm talking about, used to come, used to be on. I'm the about from section two, two section two, from section two to section two to to, to to the high school to the college to the killer crossover. I first seen the killer crossover behind the back between the legs. That's all my that, favorite. All joint. that, all that, you know like what you know what I mean. Like um, you know, you you just made me so proud. Like the crazy thing was, it to me, Kenny Smith is like Akinelli. Now let me let me, yeah, let me break got, that yeah, down. I went, wow, I was see, like yeah. Kenny Smith is like Akinelli, and you, I padded off of you. Okay, like me, okay. I'm, excuse me, me, I padded off of you, because you was more like, I like the beat. You, know, you was more I, the hood dude, like yeah. you was more like your your, <laughs> yeah, your, that's, yeah. like your, your mom's is in the yeah. hood, like just like my father was the in the hood. Too. 
Quinn. And you know, Kenny was way Quinn. more relatable. Kenny, Kenny, Somebody, Kenny Smith was yeah. more like you know his he had good parents. Yeah, yeah, great. good parents. That's, that's, you can't be you, you can't, can't be that. condoned for that. Yeah, that's nah. my that's my family too. Oh, and the same thing with Akinelli. Like Ak, he he don't smoke, he don't drink. It's like it's cool, but when Ak's album dropped. A lot of left rack people felt disconnected from that yeah. because they was like, he keeps he, he's talking about eating pussy. His his, his yeah, album was called Vagina Diner. It was a porn. Album. It was a porn album. Album. So people was like, and you know back then black people, that was his black thing. people ain't eat pussy back then. It was it like, was a clear but, but, but the shit that blew, it, it just got hot in, in the your, black community. Put it, put it in, in your mouth. Pussy. Put it in your mouth. Blew no, up. no, but that was that was after. But that was after. I remember. Remember his first, but even his first album was called Vagina Diner. Nah, it was okay. called Vagina Diner, so yeah, it was wild, the average man. left rack nah, dude we That's wild. was just sitting around. That's my brother, Akinelli. I love him to death. Yeah. He helped me sustain. But I seen the disconnect. I seen people like, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know what I mean? They couldn't like, relate to him. No, yeah. they related, but they See. related as much as they could. <laughs> But in in, 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 in 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 all honesty, some people with Kenny Smith. That's that's my brother too. But some people say Kenny Smith was from Brooklyn, and he then he from, moved. No, he's from Left Rack, but the, right. you didn't see moved, him a lot. You didn't see him a lot. But that's the we, only difference. But we see you me, every, every day, day prior you to you going me. to there. Because I'm going right. out. My mom was out. Right. Whatever. I'm going out to see my man. I might go see my man JB. Man, give me fifty dollars, man. Right. I need something to eat. Right. You know what right. Me? I need this, I need so, that. But so you know what? Yeah. What gets me, and it's it's gonna, it's always, I think somebody did too, I think I came up to me in New York, said, mm. you the people's champ. Mm. And that shit hit my heart. Mm. That's it was like, we don't care about all that politic, mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. You the people's champ. And it, right. and, and, it, and it it hit me. And I said, wow. Mm. You know what I mean? And I remember that. And it was, mm. a, it was a woman. Mm. She said, like, you just keep it, you know, you, I don't keep it 100%. I keep it real enough, but right. you could touch me, you right. know what I mean, when I was, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I really didn't care about all that other nonsense, but those right. kids in the generation, right now, those kids in the hood, they need hope. Mm -hmm. They yeah. need somebody mm -hmm. like yeah. me. Like That's I relatable. Came, I came up, right. you right. know, through alcoholics, drug addicts, right. this, that, and the other, other right. stuff. I ain't going to get deep into what it nah, is. But, same thing with me. You know me. what I'm saying? I came through the same thing. I came up, so they need to hear that. To right. say, you know, dyslexia went right. to Archbishop Malloy High School. I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. I'm I'm dyslexic. dyslexic. Nah, too. stop. Man. Yeah, I'm no, 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 no. I was gonna, my next yeah. album was gonna be called Dyslexia. That shit, wow. That's a fact. Yeah. Am I lying? That's a fact. Hey, yo, I'm dyslexic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we have a dyslexic yeah. moment yeah. right yeah. now. Yo, for real. You, I see you, things then, then you have the whole joint. You have the cover backwards. That'd be right. ill. Yeah, that'd be ill. That's a fact. That'd be ill. If people don't believe dyslexia is real, they're like, man. Yo, my man. God bless Vincent Smith. He took me to all these prep classes. I didn't yeah. have it on a high level. So I was mm. able to, they gave me more time with the test. Mm. I see letters and little words. I'll be all flipped out. To this, to this right. day, I might, right. you know, you I, just lead or something like lead or right. was. I might right. sometime real quick and put the S. Right. I'm about to spell it backwards real right. quick and I have to change it. So that's the numbers and all that is different, but I got it on a small totem pole. But right. what I was saying is these kids need to know right. that the struggle is hope, real. The struggle but, but real. Let me, let me ask both of y'all something, because mm -hmm. this to both of y'all. Yeah. What do you say to people that say the hood needs more, that, at least the kids, the youth needs more than to think they could be basketball players and rappers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree we, with like, you. That needs to be addressed, you know right. what I'm saying? I agree with that, but what's, the problem is... That's what we're attracted to. What we're attracted to probably might not be basketball. It might not even be rappers. It's, it's what comes with that. I would, you know, like like I see doctors like all the like time. people were attracted like to I drug live, dealers in the I live yeah, but I live by doctors. Like I lived at, my whole time living in Miami. I lived by doctors. Like except for when I was in Kendall, I right. never met my neighbors. But, um, that's, yeah. That's so Kendall. Yeah, yeah. I definitely never <laughs> met my neighbors. I like, I walked through them. They was like, what up? I'm like, hey, what up? You know what I mean? But, um, when I lived in a diplomat, my, my actual, the person I shared a floor with was a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that in the hood, we got to start making that more popular. But again, people who are doctors got to come back See, to the but, hood. Right, and say but that. I got I to think about that. Mm -hmm. When I go speak, sometimes, you know, I got my guy, my business partner, JB, mm -hmm. you know, real estate buff, mm -hmm. business buff, mm -hmm. you know, knows business. I'll take him. 
Right. You know, yeah. We gotta right. take the guys like you. Right. Go, right. you rap. Right. Take one of your doctor friends, your lawyer exactly. friends. Come yeah. talk to these kids. Get these exactly. home. This is what he do. He takes care of my business contract. Like you was coaching you at one point, right? You know what I mean? You was, you was coaching um, uh, high school. High school. Uh, down here, Jewish day school. Right. Posnack, I love y'all, man. Y'all right. listening, man. The Jewish day school. All my right. friends is Jewish. You know what I mean? Right. I got a lot of, not all, nah, I got nah. a lot of Jewish friends. Yeah, that's man. right. That's where the money oh, at, I mean, or, even you know teaching, or even sure. teaching the youth. Everything that goes along well, with the apparatus of, of, right. of, of, of industry. Exactly. What's right, behind right. the rapper? You got the no. lawyers, you got the managers, yeah. you got yeah, the producers. Yeah, all my lawyers What's are, behind the basketball Jewish. player? You got agents, you got coaches, yeah. you got right. all so that. They got, they got to realize that. They got to understand that. But you got to, you know, you got to let them know that it's, you, if you, you don't have to be a basketball player, a exactly. rapper, or a baseball player. You could be a lawyer. You right. could, or you can work for the NBA. You can work at a or you can have behind a, the scene. Or you can have scene, a regular right? good job, and that's okay, too. That's, okay that's, too. that's sometimes that's where fact. I think that's the problem is being dismissed. That's a fact. Right. That kids sometimes say, but okay, like, I, I, I'll, I'll go I'll, back with Nori more. say. It's uh, attraction. It's the attraction. videos. Uh, Can I see the video? I know the video. The rap videos right. be going hard. Back right. in the days, I used right. to be like, some of them cars wasn't even them cats' cars. Nah, it wasn't. They, 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 but the jewels and all that. The facade. It's the facade. But some of those kids believe that. And, and it's, um, it ain't it's the same wrong. thing. Just, it's the same thing with the NBA. It's yeah. just like, at the end of the day, some people think that's easier, and they don't see that the blisters. They don't see that. Just you, like in music, when they exactly. see the number one record, they exactly. thought the most, he just made it. Yeah, exactly. Just got there. Is that like people tell me, like you know, French is my homeboy. People are like, yo, I want to be an overnight success like French. I said his shit took ten yeah, years. He was a yeah. cameraman. <laughs> How you he overnight was a success? Cameraman. It take ten years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just again, I want to thank you, and I just want you to know. You know Yo, I just want one, um, uh -huh. before I get off, yeah. I just want you to hit one of the verses. Oh, oh, man. What, 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 so what, 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 Thank you, my brother. Well, we got to make sure that, that before he leaves that we know about the documentary and where oh, it's yeah, at. Oh, yeah. yeah my big up your documentary. Let's pick oh, it up. about two, three minutes. i tell you. So how did the documentary come about? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know, all these docs was coming out like three years ago. Okay. Um, And a company, Skyscraper Film, came at me. They was like, yo, what do you think of telling your story? You Kenny Anis. Right. You the best out of New York. I right. said, yo, let's do it if y'all serious. Right. That we met. They flew down here. Okay. And we had dinner. And they, they, right. they we started it. We uh, hired Jill Campbell, who's the director, okay. uh, and we started filming. It took okay. three years. Wow. Uh, we went back. Yeah, we went back to Left Rag, right. Georgia Tech. Wow. Uh, they came and shadowed me here in Florida. Wow. You know what I mean? We did a lot of good things, and it's just on my life. And then, right. you know, my mother's rolling in her grave because, you know, she named wow. me Chibs. Right. She named me Chibs five right. days old. My name was Chibs. Right. And um, I didn't know my name was Kenneth until kindergarten. Wow. When she registered, wow. when she registered me in, in kindergarten. And then when I came home, wow. left frat, my sisters, my brothers, my cousins. Mm. Left frat was the first. Right. They, it grew on everybody. Right. So everybody started messing with it. Chib right. up. Chib Chib up. Chib up. Chib up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my name is Nori. Yeah. Nori. Chib you know. Yeah. 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 Then And then when, my, when I did something But great, I always remember Chib up. Yeah. That's where Chib everybody up. called me Chib up. The yeah. real people. Like somebody, right. But then when um, I did something great, my mother used to call me Mr. Chib. Like, mm. look at Mr. Chib. Oh. I saw you on TV. Oh, so look that, at you, Mr. Chib. That's where the Scully's at. You got the, you got the um, dot I, com, I, you too. You know, I ran out the joint. I had you a... You sold it out. God damn it. Let's make some noise. I'm getting your ad. I'm getting your ad. Address, I'm sending y'all yeah. some Mr. Chibs. Nah, nah, no problem. No, no problem. problem. God damn it. But what's your yeah, site? What's but, your site again? Uh, MrChibs.com. MrChibs.com. Okay. But no, but it's just uh -huh. all my life. You got to right. do your research about me, but you, you'll nah, find nah. out some stuff that you, you might not know. But, uh, you know, and I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a hit it right here. I'm going to be like arrogant, little ego, because I'm selling and promoting my dot. I am the right. best out of New York. Yes, man. you are. Yes, so you, you are. can figure it out. Everybody go yes, with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Cause he's seven feet. He was seven feet tall. Right. I'm six one, six two, 175 right. pounds. Slaying him. No, Slaying. and it wasn't so much my numbers. Me and Kareem right. is the only four all city players ever. All mm. city. And he was all city for four years. Right? Four Straight? years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and it wasn't so much my numbers. 
And I think you said it early. Right. It's like how I changed the media, nah. my swag. Your swag, my, everything. You created was, a culture. A, a culture. Yeah. That, that's down the, the reason why I know, I know you that's humble. That's why I'm a bet. That's the yeah, reason why I know I you humble. Promote, but yeah. that's the reason why I'm telling you, AI seen you. And he seen you. You when, think? <laughs> he seen you, and he seen you going back to the hood. He seen yeah. you shot yeah. out left rap, and he figured that out. And he said, "I could be me." I'm not saying that. No, I he was saying he could be you. Yeah. But he was saying I can be me now. Yeah. And he took it and to then another he, level. And then he started braiding his hair. Yeah, he took it to another level. And all level. that, because if you remember when um AI had that case or whatever. Yeah. Like after that, he was scared straight. Yeah. And then you in the it. NBA. <laughs> Wildin', you yeah, in the I did NBA my thing, but doing what you do, and and when you did your thing, I'm just saying, I'm a basketball fan too. Yeah, besides no me just being a fan of you no as a person, no basketball player, and as a person from my hood, I'm a basketball fan. Yeah, before and, and in my eyes, I ain't the I ain't the illest, I ain't the best, yeah. but in my eyes. You did it, and then he he followed yeah, behind you. Me. Not saying he before. copied you, but yeah. he, he did take something from you. Yeah. And that's a fact, and there ain't no problem and about I'm not, that. And I just got, and before I get out, right. say the real, yeah. you know, because we both from Left Rack, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody know where my heart at, man. I tell my son, right. oh, I'm from Left Rack City, man. Right, right. London Facts. building, man. Facts, Four J, man. Facts, baby. You know what I mean? USA building, Four baby. J. Let's yeah. do it. Four J, e. man. Yo, let me tell you. And something. all them raised me out there, man. <laughs> right. yeah, you know, six brothers, man. Right. Six, well, yeah, brothers. six brothers fed me That's bagels my, and pizza and all that. My first, mom, you know what I mean? This is only real, job man. is six. You was delivering pizza. That? That's delivering like five, pizza. Coogee. That's like five brothers, but different. My man Coogee Rap was over there too. Coogee Rap. Rap. Coogee Rap. Actually delivered pizzas pizza. as well. He came up the door. In the hood, <laughs> In the hood man. Yes, I, right, I, got, man. I got Coogee Rap on um, um, Drunk Uncle album yeah. as, as well. But that's, that was crazy. That was crazy how he just ended that, my dude. I'm sorry. It's, it's for my hood. Already. It's no, for my hood, No, Coogee Rap was in the Chinese spot. Coogee Rap was in my building, though. He was from um, Section 2, USA building. Yeah, oh. I, I was in the London Section 1. He was in one. London Section 1. Yeah. Now, so, let me just break down our hood before. This is how we yeah, going to end time. it. It's, it's four. See, it's, it's five sections Section. in our hood. Section 1 and Section 2 is like the same section. Yeah. It's... Everybody... What section did I go to when I went to? Oh, oh you went to Section 2? Yeah, I went on to Section 2. Phil says, and he's there's a shootouts. On yeah, the no, 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 no. There's a shootout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a shootout. No, you lie. You lie. Yeah, yeah, when Bum B was there, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I brought Bum B. I brought Bum B. Yeah, no, I, I, shoot shoot the the I went to the, I went to the the spot to get the drink. We went to the wing. I brought him to the wing. Yeah, what? Yeah, I brought him to the wing. Uh, I, I, you didn't go to the back. You didn't. See, that's where the basketball court was. Yeah, through the middle. I went. Inside. No, I think we you saw the basketball court, but I ain't actually bring you down. But the wing is way worse. So yeah, yeah nah, all, exactly, I know, yeah. all I know, yeah. is it was a culture shock for me uh, yeah. being right. from Miami. From Miami, like, yeah. it's like Miami. twenty dudes out here. Right. <laughs> they just laughed. They was just laughing. Like, <laughs> I was like, "Where the girls at?" Some dude told me, Who's "No that? girls come out after six. <laughs> yeah, they gotta go out. <laughs> I'm like, "I'm like, I'm going nah. back to Miami." <laughs> they will pass. They be up there. Be loud and be like twenty five dudes just up there. Like, <laughs> homies, and up. homie was selling yeah. crack yeah. on the sidewalk <laughs> blocks. Like literally, like this is a no. That's his. That's his crack block. And that's, I'm like, but you guys but that's why, each other. But that's why the crazy thing is responsibility was so much on yeah. this man. Yeah, it was wild because when he made it, it was like everybody wanted to be him, including yeah. me. And then when I made it, I didn't realize my responsibility. See, like, I didn't realize, I was still in my mind saying, yo, I'm trying to be like them. And then I realized, and then everybody started to try to be like me. And I was like, holy shit, I had to take responsibility. Yeah. And, and it's crazy that me and him both, after all we've been through, we, we both winded up 20 minutes away from each other. Both in Florida. That's why I, that's a documentary. That's, you know, yeah, by itself. Come on, do coming home, we'll coming, coming home. Left rack. God damn it! Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll do that. Yeah, that. No, we gotta come back. No, yeah. that, that's a good show. We come yeah. back to left rack. Yeah, do a whole show yeah, out there. Yeah, whole show. This shit is. The, yeah. But yo, once again, Kenny Anderson, motherfucking legend, one of my idols, one of the first people, and 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 I know you humble because I, I I see it, man, and I, yeah, and I, I respect that, but. In a lot of ways, if it wasn't you, it wouldn't be me. All right, if I, I it wouldn't be that. you, it wouldn't be a, a, a Akinelli. Yeah. There's so many people that, because again, Kenny Smith was a little older than us, and I love yeah. Kenny Smith 100%. That's my dude. He did my album, did a drop for my album, uh, Student of the Game. But 
you was the person I seen. I knew your mom's. Yeah. Your mom sent me upstairs. Your mom told crazy. my father she that, that my father should beat my she ass is, one man. day, a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? So I just really respect you. I'm really honored that you came in had and to. you sat down with I had us. To. You kept it my real, 100. percent My mother and I love you, my, my mother. Brother, my mother would have said I had to. Yo, oh, that's Mr. Chips. Go, go, go to the website, <laughs> MrChips.com. Mr. Yeah. Check yeah. me yeah. out. The that's best it. out of New York, man. Mm -hmm. Kenny you know, Anderson. Story. Mind you, mind you. Eddie Giggs and Weird uh, Thoughts. I got two of my boys. They are racing right now. Hoping, I know they're trying to catch me. <laughs> hoping to catch nah, you. Nah, we good. We good. They're man. racing here right now. When I told them, nah, good. I told, right. we had mad rappers here. Yeah. Right. When I said yeah, you was, was coming. Yeah. Right. That's what's up, man. Yeah, nah, man, but yo, nah. on a real, 100%. I had to do this because of you. Nah, thank Dory. you. Thank yo, you, my brother. This is I a blessing it. that two people right. from the hood left nah, rap it's city. full circle. Right. It's full circle. Got out of there. He went from rap. It's crazy. Went right. to athletics and basketball. And, you know what I mean? It's and awesome, it's something, man. We got to do something to make that happen. But once again, thank you for having us. Because yeah, we gotta make we gotta make something like something. What's like what's what's the social media that? Yeah, yeah. Bring oh, up you don't catch people. me. I'm only Twitter, man. I'm. Right. I'm a, we need to get I'm, you on Instagram. Nah, I'm addicted. Too. I'm, I'm, addicted. Get you. Listen, <laughs> I'm addicted to Twitter. I'm addicted. We, we've we've had a conversation on the side. I'm addicted to Twitter. Listen, we had a conversation <laughs> on the side. In the, in the future, if anything happens, there's oh, a no. block button on Instagram. Oh, it erases everything. Oh, I'm gonna because, go back on next week. Because you know why? Let me just say something. You be posting some of the dopest pictures. Yeah, I love that. You, you got me. You be me posting hype. some of the dope, yo, and I be stealing your pictures. You got me yo. hype. I be stealing you got me your pictures. I be like this. Yo, I let me tell y'all something. One time, you know me. I'm <laughs> yeah. an average smoker of cigars. I love yeah, cigars. No. Yeah. Every day is cigar day. We gotta so do. I always pick a day. I say every day is cigar day. It's every day. So right. tomorrow, but, but, tomorrow is cigar Thursday. But what we gonna do? We starting a campaign to get Dude. Chib up. Uh, yeah, I saw you. Okay, we started Let's a campaign. I'm Let's telling you, I didn't, I didn't release my fans how I was supposed to, but I have my fans hit you they every day. They could check me out. They could check me out. Tell on them, your, tell them your joint. My Twitter, Twitter username Chibs C H I B B S underscore one. Right. Then because go listen, to my dot, Mister Chibs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. Check the Mister Chibs. Me, let me just tell you the reason why you can't only have Twitter. This is where Kanye West just fucked up. Yeah. He asked for the person that owns Facebook for a million dollars on Twitter. <laughs> it, 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 what was your problem? <laughs> he owns Facebook, you cocksucker. Yeah, he was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why wouldn't you hit him on Facebook? I know that was, that was a little fun, late. Man. But yo, thank you for I'm having us. Back, this is Entertainment Crazy yo, World Radio. Drink Champs Radio. Drink Champs Radio 2. We still, we, yo, Leo G, we still love Check you, us baby. Out at Noriega, at DJ EFN, at, at Drink Champs. Let's do this. And um, what is on my Instagram? At Mr. Super Slime. I'm at Who's Crazy. And yeah, has Crazy. And we had the legend in the building. Let's make some fucking noise! Come on. Yeah. Our very first guest, by the way. Very first guest, man. Thank you for coming the legend. by. That's hey, awesome. Hey. And we still drinking. <laughs>